Under the streets of Sondrio, in a stone-lined cellar, we met with a selection of wine producers in Valtellina. Each person we spoke with welcomed us, pouring their wine and sharing their unique stories of this valley, high in the Alps of northern Italy. Often it was the winemaker behind the table pouring, or someone in the family that owned the winery. They told us about harvest, their family history, and their passion for wine. Hello, welcome in Valtellina. Cristina Scarpellini came to the Valtellina Valley because she likes a challenge. For her, the valley was challenging in multiple ways. Managing a vineyard here is not easy. The steep slopes mean everything is worked by hand. What would take 250 hours in Tuscany is 1,500 hours here in Valtellina. Then finding vineyards can be difficult. Almost all the areas for vineyards are planted, and building relationships with vineyard owners when you are an outsider, well, that takes time. There is also the fact that she is a woman in a region that is traditionally dominated by men. She took her time getting to know people, grateful for the colleagues that supported her, many of whom were women with families with a long winemaking tradition. I met her first at the Wine Media Conference, where she was on the panel for the session, La Donna del Vino, Women, Wine Stories of Creativity. We caught up again later on the post-conference excursion to Valtellina. She sat with us at lunch and helped to explain the five subzones in the valley. Later, at the Consorzio Cellar in Sondrio, we were able to taste her wines. The name of her winery, Tenu de Cherche, is inspired by the traditional two-pronged pitchfork used to tend the vines by hand. She has vineyards in three of the subzones, Belgella, Inferno, and Sassella, with two more hectares outside of the Valgella subzone, Interano. We tasted first her Natale Rosso de Valtellina 2021. Nettare! This is her most approachable wine, with 15 days on the skins, aging for six months in concrete, and an additional four months in bottle. It is her flagship wine in the U.S. Next, we tasted her Ascenza Valtellina Superiore DOCG 2018. Here, the vinification is different, spending 30 days macerating on the skins and then 27 months in 50 hectoliter French oak. Average age minimum 12 months. 12 months is a bottle on the duck. For me, in my opinion, in my winery, it's really important that the viola improve because it improves the flavor, aged more time in bottle. In bottle, uh, because the viola need bottle. Oak and bark. Okay. Uh, more bark than oak. We have a rule, minimum 12 months in oak. Next was the Cristina Scarpellini Valtellina Superiore Valgella Reserva 2018. Interpretation of the, of the artist of me. Of you? Yes. Oh, interpretation. Yes, interpretation. you have very nice style. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. This is Valgella. Okay. Reserva. Okay. 18. This wine reminisces on her beginnings in Valtellina. The fruit comes from Tresenda in Delio, from vineyards between 450 and 650 meters above sea level. This wine ages in 25 hectoliter Slovenian oak for at least a year, followed by 13 months in bottle. The last wine we taste is the Infinito Sforzato di Valtellina DOCG 2018. Sforzato, due to the Pesito drying method, can often be heavy. Cristina works to preserve the fruit notes in this wine. The grapes come from vineyards in Telio and Villa di Tirano that sit between 550 and 700 meters above sea level in sandy loam soil. The wine is made in the traditional pesito method, picked in September, dried until the 1st of December, then pressed, and it macerates on the skins for 20 days doing a slow fermentation. It then ages into no for one year, followed by a year in bottle. This stunning region is well worth a visit, with Lake Como nearby to the west and San Moritz to the northeast. But until you can get there, you can find Tenu de Cherche wines imported to the U.S. through Dalla Terra. We have more to discover. Join us for more on Valtellina with Crushed Grape Chronicles 
and discovering wine country. 